Hello, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to video 2. So, you want to know more about marine fish? Well, we have picked 5 more marine fish that, in our opinion, are easy to keep in the home aquarium. We will be looking at 25 best fish in total in these videos. Let's start at the top with the Bangay Cardinal. Bangay Cardinal Fish, Terrapagan Cordoni, a lovely, little reef safe fish. It's a fish that seems to hang and hover rather than swim. The sad fact with this fish is it's on the danger list and on its way to extinction, mainly due to overfishing them. Our book goes into more detail about this fish. It's called Marine Fish and Corals for the Complete Beginner. This book can be read on our channel. Just look for this thumbnail on our channel. Even if you move this fish far away from home, the fish would return to its home site. This means there are still isolated pockets. Out of 1.8 million fish collected per year, approximately 55% die. If you decide to keep these fish, have a go at breeding them to help them to stay around. They like to hang around in a group. One very interesting fact about this little fish is this. Like many cardinal fish, sex roles are reversed. It's the males that provides the parental care. The male does the brooding and hatching eggs in their mouths. The copper band butterfly fish, Chelman rostratus. This fish also known as a beaker butterfly. It uses its pointed narrow mouth to get into all the crevices. A great fish for cleaning rocks. Caution is advised though, if kept in a reef setup, as they do like to nip corals, invertebrates and anemones. However, they are great at reducing ectasia. They love to eat them. They do best in a reef aquarium, with other peaceful fish. It should be the only butterfly fish in the aquarium, as they don't mix well. Since they promote feeding at the bottom layer of the sea, they have developed all types of jaw shapes and sizes to feed. Their favorite types of food includes sponges, algae, coral polyps and plankton. If they are kept with fish that will bully, then they will hide to safeguard themselves from danger to deal with threats. To help defend themselves, they have developed spines and also release toxins. Their color changes between day and night. Our third choice is, the Randall's Gobi, Amblia Leatris Randalli, and the Pistol Shrimp. This has to be the most beautiful partnership in the marine world. The shrimp is almost blind, however, it is a master at building burrows. It is totally obsessed with keeping the entrance clear. It never stops. The Gobi meanwhile, has excellent eyesight but no good at burrowing which is valuable protection in a reef. In return for being a lookout, the shrimp gives lodgings. They maintain constant contact via the shrimp's antennae. It's fascinating to watch. We have spent hundreds of hours watching them. Keeping these two comes with a warning. It is imperative that you place the rocks on the tank floor and not on top of the substrate. The reason for that is this. The shrimp digs deep burrows. The rocks would landslide or even worse, collapse when the shrimp excavates. They require a deep bed of at least three to four inches deep. Shrimps will use a mixture of gravel, small crushed shells and sand. Out of interest, the shrimp will communicate with the gobi by making a gunshot noise. It is said to be louder than 120 and 130 decibels. It can easily be heard in an aquarium. Clown Ras, Doris Aguila, also known as the Twin Spot Ras. This fish requires a fairly thick layer of sand, as they like to bury themselves at night. We could set our watch on this fish. When it's the fish's bedtime it starts to swim differently. It begins by circling around and when it's happy, poof, it's gone under the sand. In a flash just leaving a plume of sand dust. It then stays there all night. They eat, mice as shrimps, brine shrimp, meaty bits, flake and even urchins, crabs, shrimps. It will leave no stone unturned to find food. It is a very fast swimming fish. Longfin Bannerfish, Enichus acuminatus. This fish looks very similar to the Moorish Idol fish. In fact, it is known as the poor man's Moorish Idol, since it does resemble the Moorish Idol fish. However, the Bannerfish is better suited to life in an aquarium. The Enichus acuminatus and the Enichus diffroots are extremely similar looking, and it can be difficult to determine the difference in young fish. The Bannerfish is a schooling fish, 
For this reason, you should keep a few. They would be comfy in an aquarium of 125 gallons, or a larger aquarium with other peaceful fish, also with others of the same species, as long as they are all added at the same time. When they swim, the elongated white dorsal filament moves like a banner in the wind. They are easy to feed and will accept all food types. In the wild they feed on zooplankton. However, in the aquarium, it is important to give them a good varied diet and to feed them often, and recommended at least two to three times a day. So, there you have it, five of our 25 fish to keep. Keep a lookout for the next video. More videos to follow soon, full of information. So, please like and subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell, so you know when new information is available. Thanks for watching.